Thank you so much. Tell someone to subscribe. The subscribe button down there. You get and give me a thumbs up to let me know that if you like the video. And yeah, have have likes like over fifteen guys. Ah, thank you so much. I've gotten comments. People are advertising for liking. People are yes for giving me good vibes. And I'm honestly I'm very happy. So what brings me to the channel? The channel. I made a video on Instagram about forgiveness, but I just gave in a few, 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 few tips. So I thought, um, since I have a channel, this is the best place to do this. So today, guys, forgiveness is our what? Is our topic? Yeah, the first thing I would like to tell you is, um, forgiveness is a choice and not a feeling. Uh, I'd love to say that as Christians, you are going to choose to forgive someone despite, despite the harm, the hurt, the, yeah, the disappointment. Yes, I know, I know, it's like, you don't understand what I've gone through, but listen, when we choose to forgive, God does the healing, right? Yeah, let me tell you, the word of God is so real, it's, it's so real more than the ground you step on, and trust me, when you choose to forgive, God himself, will do that healing. So I met about this thing, I heard about it, I researched. So I got a few points. So I'd like a, a few points that I, I wanted to, to share with you from my revelation and I know God will give you more for your sake. But I love to read from the book of Ephesians 4.32 in the message version which says be gentle with one another, sensitive, forgive one another as quick and thoroughly and thoroughly as God in Christ forgave you. Okay guys what do you mean? Um be as as you as you as as you make a choice. Be ready. Make a choice to be ready and free to forgive, guys. People are made of flesh. Listen, even when they do their best not to hurt you, they are because they are flesh. They will disappoint you more and more times. They will hurt you the more. They will they will break you the more. But listen, as a Christian, you are going to choose to be ready ready to forgive mm. each and every single time listen being not forgiving makes you a bondage for the consequences of someone's sin someone's um, hurt the reason they hurt you and what uh, where do i come from let me say if um let me give an example if someone hurt you uh, met this guy yeah, get into a relationship he hurt you so bad probably his cut his heart led to you getting sick you get gave you a scar that is lasting for for a long time then you look at it you feel pain and and yeah you, you it's, it's too much listen when you don't accept to you don't choose to forgive if you, don't, if you don't forgive this person every single time you go back to that pain you bring back the consequences of that pain it brings hurt it brings anger it makes you hard it blocks things out. it in the spiritual realm it blocks you from anything else you could fail to get married just because you failed to forgive. No, that's not worth it. Honestly, that's definitely not worth it. So for this reason, you know what? Just forgive. Just just forgive. You get? Just and as I said, when you forgive, God does the healing. Right? Other point I want to talk about is um forgiveness is for yourself. Forgiveness is for yourself more than the other, right? The Bible says, uh, let me see in this book, forgiveness is for self. You know that part in the Bible where it talks about, um, uh, in, in Matthew, in Mark eleven twenty five, there's somewhere where it talks about, uh, ask and you know you receive, and then it says, uh, when you forgive the trespasses, as you come, as as you, as you pray, as you praying, forgive someone's trespasses, so that your Father in heaven can forgive your trespasses too. So you're coming to God, you 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 carrying heart of someone else supposed to forgive. Listen, my friend, just because of that, 
you'll block your passage to God. Now we're supposed to come to God with boldness. This is where we have access to all things. So when you do not forgive, you cut in your relationship with God, which is not okay because this is where we belong. Why would you want to be in a place where you can't access God fully because of some random human being failed to forgive you? Now guys, listen, forgiveness is for yourself more than anyone else. It opens up place for you in the spiritual realm. And this is where we belong. Listen, guys, if the spiritual realm is cut off or is clogged, the physical realm is going to stress you the more. Trust me. Listen, so forgive. As I'm telling you this, I'm also learning. I'm also being broken. I've also been hurt before. So I'm not talking about a place of, yeah, she just prayed about it. No, I've been hurt before. But yeah, I forgive because I, I want my life. Like, I want to, I want God to use me in more ways so those have been my two points my third point is forgive and forget guys let me read from the from uh, jeremiah 31 to 34 which says they will no longer go around setting up schools to teach each other about god they will know me firsthand the dull and the bright the smart and the slow i will wipe the i wipe the slate clean for each of them i will forget their they ever sinned god's decree now, God himself forgave us and, for, you know, he forgave the, the, the Israelites and forgets like he has the capacity not to remember anything wrong he did. And listen to verse 6, as he is, so are we in, the, in this world. Okay, in the, in the physical, it's very impossible. In the spirit realm, guys, it's possible. Now, how do we access all the things? By believing you get. So what do you do? Whenever you remind of, whenever you remember of heart of um, the bad times, always remind yourself, I forgive and I forget. Like, I forgive. Tell yourself, I forgive. Listen, those words have power. To put you at a place where you can find someone who hurt you so bad. You get And honestly, you don't feel anything bad for them. You pray for them. Remember the Bible says, whatever. Now, now, now listen. All of us, because of pain and hurt, not, not just because of our human nature, we are capable of hurting someone to the worst. We are capable of the worst. We are capable of bombing up countries. We are capable of introducing corona. All of us, I mean, yes, with your cute face, with your handsome face, yes, with your composed and pretty little soul. Yes, you're capable of hurt. But what makes us different is um, thanks be to the grace of God that we are who we are right now. My friend, you have not, you're not in prison in a certain way. Why? But the grace of God has kept you. Thanks be to God. How much more about Christians? Thanks be to like He has availed His grace for us to keep us from doing wrong, to keep to let us do good instead of harm. Glory be to God. So don't let someone's actions get. Don't let someone's pain lead you into being someone wrong. No, you are a good person. Yes, and if God is good, honey, you are good. You are good. So I was reading the verse and I was telling you that like vengeance, first of all, if you don't forget you're going to hurt cause yourself lead you to wanting to hurt someone else. Now vengeance is of the Lord, my friend. And he does, he does, he does revenge his his children. So let him be God. Let him and forgive. And then forgiveness is for yourself. Uh, forgive yourself, honey. Do forgive yourself. Yes, you did the worst. Look at Paul. You get. Look at Paul. He harmed the children of the, the, the Israel, the Jews. He he did everything. But when God called him, he says in a, in a for it, in Philip in Philip in three to twelve, he says, brothers and sisters, I am still not all I should be, but I am focusing my all my energies on this one thing, forgetting the past and looking to what lies ahead of me. Paul is talking about forgiving yourself here. And he he talks about forgetting the past and looking forward to what? To Christ, who is our who is our goal. Yes, these things are all possible. You, you get things are all possible. So that was my last but I want to tell you that if you do not forgive yourself, 
you cut short of the glory and power of God in you that he wants to use for you. Why? Because when you come to God, you find you come to God as worthless. And listen, those things limit you from the presence of God. You come to God feeling you're worthless because of what you did and all your bad. God tells you, come to me with boldness. You get it? You are the righteousness of God through Christ. So what makes you come to the throne of God? Feeling not worthy. And listen, all of us have fallen short of the glory. But because of God, we are who we are. I forgive myself. I forgive it who have hurt me. And trust me, God is doing amazing things today. Guys, I really had a good time. I hope you are well. I can't wait to see you till next time. Tell someone to subscribe and remind me about days. Bye bye.